one. Hi guys, so we're continuing with driving instruction and road rules summary from DMV Handbook. My page is Facebook.com use all play. Um, we were at the section um, of um, so always yield to pedestrians. Use turn signals when turning. So we were learning about turning. You can turn right from other lanes besides just the right same goes for left only if signs or pavement markings permit so a t intersection is a one when a one-way street turns into a two-way street um that's what it says i'm not sure if it would also be called t if both of them are one way so one way turning into one way i believe it would also be t the traffic that you are merging into always has right of way. U turns. Turning to go back the way you came from is a U turn. U signals across double yellow when safe, as in the following conditions. In residential districts, if no vehicles are approaching within 200 feet, when traffic light or sign protects you, or you are safe from approaching vehicles. On a divided highway, only if an opening is provided at a center divider. Try to turn only at the intersection unless a sign prohibits or when openings are provided. Illegal U-turns are um, when uh, you never turn in the following situations. At a railroad crossing, on a divided highway by crossing dividing section like a curb or a two set of two sets of double yellow lines uh, like a barrier where you can um, also where you cannot see clearly 200 feet in either direction because of a curve or a hill or uh, rain or fog etc uh, where sign says no U-turn in highly congested or complicated roads, when other vehicles may hit you, like on a one-way street, uh, in front of a fire station or using fire station driveway, in business districts, churches, apartment building, or multi-family unit, uh, or public city buildings with a lot of pedestrian and vehicle traffic, Okay, so the next section is parking. On a sloping driveway, turn wheels so the vehicle will not roll if the brakes fail. Um, if facing downhill, turn front wheels into the curb or the side of the road. If uh, you're uphill, turn the front wheels away from the curb and let vehicle roll back a few inches into the curb. Uh, if there's no curb, uh, roll the turn the wheels so the vehicle will roll away from the uh, center of the road. So parallel parking in uh, you park in line with the side of the road. Um, so you find a space at least three feet longer than your vehicle about uh, you signal that you intend to park you pull alongside the space or vehicle in front of where you intend to park so the bumpers are aligned assuming uh, uh, there's vehicles in front and in behind you leave a two feet um, between yourself and the other vehicle put your vehicle in reverse um, and the foot on your on your brake using rear view mirror and looking over your shoulder for hazards you pull up at around a 45 degree angle with um, an s motion reversing into the space and using the steering wheel to straighten out leave about 18 inches between the rear wheel and the curb that's about a foot and a half uh, that's pretty big space 
but um, don't leave more than that space. You center the car within the space by moving forward and back until centered and aligned correctly. Next section is on colored curbs, which have special parking rules. White means stop only long enough to pick up or drop off passengers or mail. Then uh, green means to park for a limited time looking for sign with time limits or painting on curb. Yellow means stop only for the time posted to load or unload passengers or freight. Drivers of non-commercial vehicles are to stay within your, the vehicle. Red means no stopping or parking. These are bus zones usual. And the blue means disabled areas must display a special placard or a license plate from the DMV. Disabled can park in special areas for unlimited periods regardless of time restriction. Diagonal crosshatched area next to disabled space is a no parking zone. Illegal parking are the following. You cannot park if there's a no parking sign posted on a crosswalk, a sidewalk, or if you're partially blocking a sidewalk or a driveway. In a tunnel or on a bridge, except where signs permit. Um, on or within, it says seven and a half feet of a railroad crossing. I'm not sure how they came up with that specific distance. And then in a parking or a fueling space for zero emission vehicles. And then within three feet of disabled access ramp and on a freeway unless if it is an emergency or required to stop. Um, by like an officer or some emergency. The four hour limit to park on the side of a freeway is for everyone, even if disabled, you are not permitted to remain parked there on the freeway or highway. If you must park or stop on the highway, completely park off the pavement, stay in the vehicle, and lock doors to the far right, leave enough space for other vehicles to pass freely. If possible, try to leave your vehicle, let your vehicle be seen. Uh, so put it in a place where it's seen 200 feet in both directions. On the level street, um, your wheels should be parallel. Uh, you should park with your uh, wheels parallel to the curb and the roadside. Uh, on both the front and the back wheels. When exiting a vehicle, look carefully for passers-by. Do not open door unless safe not, and not interfering with traffic. Do not leave door open longer than necessary. So signaling. When slowing down or stopping when turning or changing lanes, you can use uh, light signals or arm signals. Left arm signal is the arm straight out. So like straight out like that. Um, and then your right arm signal is the arm up. So it's up like this. That's right. And then uh, the straight is left. If you're slowing down or stopping, it's down. Like such. It's down. <laughs> okay, so that's some um, slowing down or stopping. And then right is up. And the left is straight out. So, signal 100 feet before turning point, right or left. Do not assume the space you want to occupy is clear. Check mirrors. Uh, and your blind spot, check it to make sure. On freeway, check at least five seconds before changing lanes. Check before pulling next to curb or away from curb or when changing directions. Don't signal too early or too late. You may cause confusion uh, among other drivers with your intentions. Um, we're going to take a pause. So I'll see you guys in the next part. And thank you.